Good morning guys, so I'm currently drinking my green juice Well, I'm about to drink it. This is really good I used to make this all the time in the morning, but I fell off track So I'm trying to get back to it, but it's really good This one is my favorite green juice if you want to know how I make this one I will insert a clip right here showing you exactly how I make it I actually enjoy doing it at night better than in the morning so definitely try it out I'm actually breaking out a lot around my chin area and this really does help me clear up my skin and I feel much energized I also like to drink this first thing in the morning just because it is better to have this on an empty stomach so that is why I'm gonna drink this right now right before I have my breakfast I am about to show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast before the gym I'm not gonna have anything too heavy so i am just gonna have a little bit of bread and then two eggs a little bit of egg whites and that's it maybe some fruit as well my air vent is on that's why you hear that noise so i'm just gonna have one of these light multi-green english muffins and i'm gonna put it in the toaster i'm just gonna add a little bit of this raspberry jelly because it's my favorite I'm probably going to be going to the gym in like 30 minutes. So I'm currently putting on my shoes and I'm doing lower body workout today. So you guys know I'm always wearing Converse on lower body days. And I really do need to get some black ones. These are so old, but they last forever. But I'm going to be showing you guys my exact lower body workout that I've been doing for the past two months. And I know some of you like to see my workouts. So that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. I've been really enjoying this workout. I've noticed results and if you stay consistent, you will notice results. Also, I'm not lifting heavy at all. I'm lifting what I can. Um, some of you probably know, but I've been doing physical therapy. I had a lower back injury a few months back. My therapist told me to just lift what I'm comfortable with. So you're going to see the amount of weights I'm going to be lifting at the gym right now. But of course, if you guys can lift heavier, then lift whatever you're comfortable with that's why on each workout i do four sets of 15 reps and i do that many just because i'm not lifting heavy again so yeah that is what i'm currently doing for my lower body workouts and i've really been enjoying it so i'm going to show you guys the whole routine right now getting my pre-workout ready i'm only having half a scoop because a whole scoop is just a little too much for me you can see i have this much water i really like the celsius drinks but i don't have any at the moment so i'm just taking this this is my gym fit today i'm wearing my favorite leggings i wear these all the time they're from aybl i think it's pronounced able and then i have this bow and tee bra underneath and then i have this cute white basic crop top from h&m they have really nice basics i also have a black one and then just my Converse. I'll put the link to these leggings in the description box down below. They're one of my favorites. Very comfortable and super stretchy.
the first workout, we're going to be using a step platform and two 15-pound dumbbells. We are doing elevated reverse lunges. These are one of my favorites. I really feel the burn on my glutes. And as you can see, I'm doing the workout really slow. I do not rush any of my workouts. And I really feel and see results better doing it that way. For this workout, we're going to be doing hill elevated goblet squats and I really like this workout. I really do feel it on the quads and I'm doing it really slow as you can see. I'm doing 15 reps of 4 sets but after I finish each set, I drop the weight and I do 10 reps. Your quads will be burning after this. After each set, I do rest for about 30 seconds. Next, we're doing dumbbell sumo squats. I currently have 20 pound dumbbell. You can use more weight if you'd like. My dumbbell is horizontal, allowing full range of motion. I'm also going slow and controlled, keeping tension in the glutes. Next up are dumbbell hip thrust, and I'm in a 90 degree angle. I do have a 40 pound dumbbell and I'm making sure my chin is tucked and your core is engaged. At the top, I always make sure to squeeze the glutes for at least two to three seconds. At the end of each set, I always hold for 10 seconds at the top, squeezing the glutes. These are a must when doing lower body if you're trying to grow your glutes and quads. These walking dumbbell lunges are great because they have a great engagement on the glutes and great activation on the quads. Another one of my favorites, these are bench lunges. I'm currently using a 15 pound dumbbell. Sometimes I'll use 20 pounds, but I love these just because I feel it everywhere. Glutes, quads, hamstrings. I've noticed results when I've kept these in my lower body days. Be consistent. For my last workout, I'm just doing some leg extensions and I'm doing four sets of 15. Now to end my lower body workout completely, I like to do a little cardio at the very end. That is just what I prefer. Now I do like to use a Stairmaster, but I only have a treadmill at the moment, so that's fine. So yeah, that is the end of my lower body workout. I do this two times a week, and then I have a day where I'm just concentrating on glutes. So I'll do that in another video. Okay, I just got home from my workout. And I thought I'd show you my post-workout meal. So I have some rice cooking in here. It's already done. It's just steaming a bit. I'm going to be cutting up a lot of vegetables, and then you can use whatever seasonings you want. These are the ones I'm going to be using. I'm going to be throwing in a whole pound of lean ground beef. My veggies are all cut up now, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into the ground beef. Okay, for the last step, we're gonna add a little bit of water. That way our meat and vegetables aren't dry and they don't get burnt. Just gonna add about this much water. Now I'm gonna cover it with the lid and we're gonna let it cook on low medium for about 10 to 12 minutes. So this is my post-workout meal. I have fourth cup of rice, um, a bit of lean ground beef with a lot of mixed vegetables. Okay, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the lower body workout I just showed you guys and also what I ate before and after the gym. It's not always the same, but I just wanted to show you guys just in case one of you ask um, or wonder what I ate before or after so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed this video If you want more workout videos from me, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys